Hi everyone. Welcome to my to talk on our developer community. Appreciate you all coming out. Hope everyone's having a great Cisco Live. We get right to it since we're running a little behind. I'm Paul Zimmerman. I've been with Cisco for quite a long time. Back in 1998, I joined Cisco. I started working with uh, servers and phones and iOS software back at that time. The logo looked a lot different than it looks today. Uh, in 2007, I started working on my first collaborative community project. I was, pro I was program manager for the Cisco Doc Wiki, which was an uh, externally facing wiki that we collaborated on. We built a whole moderation system and user base and all that kind of thing. Uh, a few years later, I joined the DevNet team back in 2014. And uh, now, uh, or I guess last year, we started uh, doing a developer community engagement team that I'm leading. Uh, so definitely get investing a lot more in community than we have been in the past. All right, so what is the, developer, the Cisco developer community? So developers love communities. Uh, we have uh, GitHub has over 73 million developers using it. Stack Overflow has over 14 million uh, users on that. Our Cisco developer community has 50,000 unique visitors every month. So we're not quite at the same level as Stack Overflow, but uh, you know, no, 50,000 is not too bad. Um, and besides online communities, things like that, uh, developers also love meeting up and doing social things like the meetups and, and conferences like this, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Developers are a community. We come to communities to, to share a lot of things, to get knowledge sharing, uh, to find sort of answers to questions that we need support for, uh, maybe to network, maybe to meet uh, others that are interested in similar things. We like to learn, we like to build our skills. And a lot of times we're coming there for inspiration. Maybe you're trying to figure out something and you go to a community about a particular topic and you're inspired to, to build something new. This is our developer hub. Uh, it's been around for a while, but it's, it's, it's been updated recently. Uh, we have a lot of different communities on our Cisco developer hub. It's part of the Cisco community. Uh, you'll find it, if you go into communities.cisco.com, you can find a link to it at the top but uh, we'll also give, provide some other links for you later. We have a super busy network, developer networking area where we talk about NSO, Yang tools, all sorts of stuff like that, DNA Center. Our developer collaboration community is super busy too. Uh, collaboration is one of our oldest uh, API sets at Cisco. We have phone APIs for like uh, Axel and JTAPI. Uh, we have contact center connections there. We also have communities on things like IoT, security, and we launched a new one recently, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute, for a uh, role-based community for DevOps, which is fun. So uh, lots of uh, active conversations going on there. Very active, we have an average of 68,000 monthly visits to our community, over 500 new posts every month on average, and uh, again, 50,000 unique visitors per month. So uh, it's active area, come, come see it, and uh, you'll Join, join the conversation for sure. We also have uh, foreign language communities uh, for developers. We have a, J a Japan one, we have a Spanish one, and just recently we started working with the French community to work on a French developer community. So uh, while most of our community conversations are still in English, we are working on some localized ones as well. As I mentioned a moment ago, we've actually started launching a role-based community. We just launched this in January uh, for specifically for DevOps. So we're talking, we have a, lots of new content there. We have videos, we have blogs. Uh, we are starting some conversations. It hasn't picked up a lot yet, but we're doing uh, more of that. As a matter of fact, tomorrow here, tomorrow night, we're having a DevOps panel inspired by our DevOps community with some great speakers. And uh, we'll have some beer and pretzels here, so uh, come by here at five tomorrow and we can have a party. Besides uh, our online forums, we're also very active in the social area. Uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, some Facebook stuff. So I'm sure you're seeing a lot of that here at Cisco Live. Uh, we also do a lot of developer-related social media as well. And of course, what's, what's a community without getting together and having some fun. So events are a huge part of it. Um, we have the DevNet Zone, you're all here, so thanks for coming here for sure. 
we all show you uh, the community team actually started kicking off a new series for meetups as well. We just had our first meetup a couple weeks ago in San Jose, uh, and we're starting to do them in, around the US and hopefully globally in the near future as well. So uh, keep your eyes open at the developer.cisco.com. We'll be announcing the meetups as well as on the community as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about inclusive communities because part of being in a community is feeling comfortable and trusting people and being able to share what you want to share. So having a diverse community helps build a lot of great conversations. Uh, we have people from all different experience levels. So we have some novices there that are trying to find answers. We have experts. We have people from Cisco that have deep knowledge. We have some great people from outside of Cisco that have some great knowledge and are, that are sharing their things on the communities. Um, People in different geog geographical areas certainly have different experiences, and so we're getting, we are sharing that uh, stuff as well. And then of course, cultural dimensions. People from around the world have different perspectives on, uh, on risk tolerance, on competitiveness, on uh, how people work within teams. So we're getting all of these different flavors in the community, and uh, it does build very dynamic conversations that way. And uh, to build an uh, inclusive community, we also need to make sure that we build the trust. First, we start with a baseline of trust and safety where people feel comfortable sharing in a community. Once people feel comfortable sharing, then it builds respect among different team members. So that is a, one way to really build a, a comfortable community where everyone can share. And also doing some recognition helps people feel like they're special and that, that they're doing part of the community as well, that people notice what they're doing. It, it's important. Uh, Shore uh, made a point of this in, in her article on inclusion and diversity in work groups. So with these types of quadrant charts, of course, we want to get up and to the left. Uh, we start at the bottom. We, of course, the, if we have a low, validity, a low value in uniqueness and a low value in belongingness, we'll have a community where people feel excluded. And that's not, a, that's not what you want at all, of course, in a community. As we move over to this side, if we have a, a low value in uniqueness and a high value in belongingness, then everyone's kind of the same. And again, you don't get a lot of good conversations if everyone is thinking the same thing. What's the point, really? If we move up the line this way, uh, we have a low level of belongingness, but a high value in uniqueness. We have people that stand out. And while it's nice to have experts and stuff that you can turn to, you know who to talk to, it also only focuses on a few certain people, and that's not a great way to build a community either. So what we're really looking for is to value everyone's uniqueness and everyone feeling belonging, so that way we can all work together and uh, build a great community. I wrote a, I wrote a blog about this. It's on blogs.cisco.com. Uh, QR code will take you there. We'll leave this in a second, though, but if you want to go to the blogs, uh, you, can, you can read more about that there. All right, recognition is super important in the community. Uh, our main recognition right now at the Cisco community is the uh, developer spotlight of the month. So what we do is we uh, nominate someone every month that cannot be a Cisco person. It cannot be a, a community VIP, which is a non-Cisco person, but they've already been recognized. So we try to find someone new every month to recognize them. Uh, they get a nice uh, trophy. They get recognition. Um, and it helps build their reputation in getting something like a Cisco VIP, which is, we'll I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, in order to do a, become a spotlight winner, we look at uh, people's quantity and quality of helpful replies. So if you're replying to posts, trying to help people, that really uh, gets you on the track for being a spotlight winner. Also, kudos received, solutions accepted, those are all big points. And finally, if someone is just writing some really impressive uh, distinguishing posts that show that they have knowledge or insight into a topic, that also helps. Sometimes people don't have to do a lot of replies if they write a really good post. So again, we look at this stuff every, every month and, and we, we uh, recognize a winner. And of course, there's other recognition possibilities. Uh, the Cisco VIP program for the community is a great one. Uh, if you are really active, in not just the developer community, but maybe some other ones as well, and we, we help nominate these, then you can become a Cisco VIP uh, for the community, and they get some great stuff. They to, I believe they get passes to Cisco Live, so um, that's, not a bad, that's not a bad perk. 
We also have some other recognition that we're working on. Uh, for our new DevOps community that I mentioned, we're, we're developing a DevOps champion. Um, that is a, we don't, haven't recognized anyone yet because again, I mentioned we just launched the community earlier in, in uh, January. But as we get more people active in there, we certainly want to recognize people. Uh, DevNet also recognizes people through uh, our DevNet Creator Awards that we've given out in the past. And we're also building some new recognition programs. So uh, the more you participate, the better chances you have of becoming recognized and becoming a, a Cisco VIP or one of these other great recognition programs. So how do you become more active in the community? Go to uh, community.cisco.com and see our developer community, ask questions, share your experiences. That's one of the, you know, people often come to a community because they, they have a problem that they want solved and that's one great thing. But also sometimes people share their, their use cases or their work experiences in a particular situation and people love that stuff too. So please share it. You'll hear from other people that have maybe have similar experiences and maybe a, some recommendations or tips. Uh, and again, building your reputation is great. You know, the more activity you get on the community, the better chances you are of getting some recognition. But also, you'll stand out among other people in the community. So not just Cisco people, there's people from our partners, there's people from our customers, there's people from out that are students and others that are joining our community. And it helps get your name out there. So we, have, we certainly have some people that are consultants that, that are super active in the communities. They, they, uh, I know they've gotten business from, from uh, being in the community as well because they're, they have their, their own uh, links and stuff that they can share. And it's a great place to build recognition. So I'm just uh, cleaning up by joining our community today. Uh, again, if you go to community.cisco.com, you'll see the developer hub. You'll be able to get to it pretty easily there. We have a pretty long URL here. <laughs> uh, we have a short, shorter one, which is cs.co. Uh, or cs.co slash developer dot, uh, de, uh, dash community. That'll get you there directly. This QR code will get you there directly. There's lots of ways to find it. If you go to developer.cisco.com, if you go to any of the te technologies, there's links to the community. So you'll be able to find us. And I really look forward to, to seeing, with you, seeing you there and interacting with you. And that's what I have for you today. Thank you.